Jen? Jen? Um, more, the depressing question is, how do you know what's on Mormon? Yeah, on- <laughs> that's the depressing question. Thank Listen, you. You don't know my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she was out of breath. Oh, cr- <laughs> yes. Oh, that's cr- what all the hidden breathing's about. Yeah. That, okay. That now I'm totally putting two and two together because I was like, okay. but. Listen, okay. no kink shaming. No, okay. So, <laughs> Jen, Margaret Stop. Margaret saw this on mormonporn.com. <laughs> no, it's not mormonporn.com. You can just go to go to your run of the mill porn site. Yeah. Is there one... got something for everybody? You're a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I like to know things. I'm a woman of the world. Okay. <laughs> so, so <laughs> So, Jen, what was a lot of people posting about it? Oh, yeah. Like, within an hour, there was over a thousand comments. All right. So, like, what, like, are you on there? Can you see what the top comments were? What are the craps? From Reddit. So, those ones I can't Okay. See. So, we don't know the follow-up. So what would you even do? Like, what would you legit do if your husband said this to you? All right, well, let's pretend it's not Mormon porn. So (laughs) let's pretend that Margaret hasn't watched it on Pornhub. Let's pretend. (laughs) Margaret knows the spoiler alert of what's going to happen. Right, Margaret knows the spoiler. (laughs) (laughs) Jen, Margaret has the answer, but let's see if if we can guess it for Margaret's sake. (laughs) <laughs> All right, so how how are they gonna really see? So how are they gonna see if the hymen is intact? Well, and how, how is the father that? qualified? Like, <laughs> who appointed him the hymen checker? <laughs> it's a great well, okay, if, we're, if we're gonna trait. if we're gonna assume if we're just gonna pretend that this is a real post and not a troll post. Yeah. Um. This kind of thing, like, this didn't just come out of nowhere. Like, she didn't, like, his family wasn't totally normal, and then just all of a sudden this. So, you're right. I, to be fair, like, what have you gotten yourself into? You have been, like, are you blind? Because there have been some red flags. Well, this is why I think it's probably Middle East as opposed to Mormon. <laughs> and his family is probably, like, super, super religious and hers is more westernized because yeah Mormons, i feel like mom would have like said this is what's happening no you're right. right if it was like if you were more like a mormon married into a mormon family your mom would be like this is the great uh tradition of your father-in-law right? looking at your your right? lady bit make sure you clean up because all of his family members are going to be looking at you <laughs> Would you, get, like, wait, would you get wax for this? Like, how's this work? No, glitter, baby. Glitter. This is crazy. People Look like crazy. a little disco ball in there. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. That's, yeah. But legit, there's so many ways that you can break your hymen. Like. Yeah. I don't even understand. Like, can you really tell from the out? Like, is this something you can actually tell? Well, clearly this man thinks he can. I don't know. I feel like someone's trolling right now. So, for her update, Mm -hmm. first of all, thank you so much for the replies. I didn't think it would get so big. I have, I've read pretty much all of them. Special shout out goes to the person who says that I was fake solely on the fact that I write like a man, whatever that means. Oh, okay. (laughs) Thanks for all the gold and silver. It's appropriate. If you want to spend some money, give it to charity. Um, I went and talked to him this morning. I told him that his father's not going to look at me and he needs to respect that. He was adamant that it needs to happen and accused me of lying about my virginity. I was trying to be calm and rational, but he was not having it and just became more and more angry. I told him if he really loved me, he would stand by me and tell his father no, to which he slapped me and he said he didn't need to prove anything. So I ended it and left him. I'm currently back at my friend's house, miserable and eating pizza. That sounds even more trolly than the Yeah, party. now it's getting really bizarre. So the only thing this is missing is it ending with the dad doing her, and then this is just, like, fully a porn script. <laughs> like, you watch so much porn. I do not! I'm going to think this that is what I, oh, This is what I hear. <laughs> uh, every time 
we can't find you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's that's exactly what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. No, but I watched this little documentary thing on YouTube oh, too I bet. about a girl, <laughs> about a girl who is in these like Mormon porn videos. I don't really know what you call them exactly, what that genre is. Mm-hmm. But um like so I don't know how much anyone knows about the Mormon faith or whatever, but they have this special like white garment they wear. Yeah, the I know all like about this, the white it looks garment. Like a nighty. Yes, I know and all you about it. You can only buy them from the church, but this girl and like there's like some other people who've like defected from the church and they brought all this. And so basically, the church is really pissed that these movies are being made with their like official nightgown thing <laughs> in the movies. And it's like a whole thing. It's really actually very interesting. Shut up. Yeah. I'll tell you a quick story. I'll tell you a quick story, really quick. It has to do. Um, one of our stand up, you know, com- local stand up comedian. Um, she has transitioned to a female and, uh, she was also in the Mormon faith prior all these years of her marriage. Okay. To her wife. Um, when he was a, he, okay. That's what he was in the Mormon thing. So now that he has now transitioned to a female and does stand up as a female and she does a joke where she literally pulls those underwear, those white garments out of her purse and does this whole bit about when she was a Mormon and those were the underwear. And I not only was her bit funny, but I never knew about this underwear. Well, yeah, so they have to wear that special silk underwear, but that's not where I thought you were going to go with her joke. I thought oh. you were going to say something about how when she transitioned, she told the doctor, like, you better make sure to put a, a hymen in there because I'm Mormon. And no one's <laughs> 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 All right. I'm actually going to take a note about that because <laughs> that's a good joke for her. <laughs> but I'm not sure I'm allowed to make that joke, but she should. <laughs> yeah. But no, but anyway. Yeah, so that's, you know, my little thing. I did not know about this underwear either. But, Margaret, uh, let's yes. let's get to um, your shopping. Okay, so moving on from porn. From the porn um, straight to your shopping. My other interest. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, so I guess mainly I just wanted to talk about, like, um, I don't know what you want to call it, like, panic shopping crazes like in the 90s it was like beanie babies and tickle me elmo and people right. were going nuts to get this stuff yeah um and next another thing that incites this behavior in people are all of these designer collaborations that target likes to do yeah like um maybe five or so years ago probably the biggest one they had was their collaboration with billy pulitzer I myself was up to like two in the morning buying the stuff online. And then my friend and I got up and got in line at 6 a.m. at an actual store to get it. Um, and Target is bringing back pieces from their 20 most popular collections okay. over the last 20 years next week. So that's probably going to turn into a debacle. Um, but like, what are some, th- do any of you guys ever like participate in these things? What have you participated in the past? But I do remember that. When I used to sell years ago on eBay, when I knew the hot item was coming out around Christmas, like I would go find as much of it as I could and then resell it. And the same with the Mackenzie Childs. We, I always would go to the barn sale and buy a ton and it was dirt cheap and then resell it on eBay. But it got to the point where everybody at the barn sale was buying it to resell it on eBay. <laughs> So right yeah. after the barn, right after the barn sale, eBay was just like bombarded with Mackenzie Child stuff for sale, and you could tell it was all the stuff that they got at the barn sale. So right, but do you expect this uh, Target thing to be big? So you know, I it's hard to say. I I, I don't know. I'm curious because like the Lily one, which is the one that I. The only one that I've really participated in. Although I did go for Vineyard Vines. That was only like a month or two ago. They did a Vineyard Vines collaboration. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, What's Vineyard but, Vines? Um, It's a company out of Nantucket. It's um, 
they do like patterns and stuff, but it's not nearly as bright and loud as Lily. Like their, okay. their signature logo is like the little whale. They put that on everything, a little pink whale. Oh, sure I've seen it. There. Yes, I have. Yeah. It's like straight up frat wear. It's but it's yes. like golfing stuff. Um, kind of, I mean they have it's a preppy ish, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, but anyway, so the point is like the Lily stuff, and I'm in like the Lily Facebook groups and stuff. We all already have that stuff because we got it the first time, and it wasn't that long ago. So I don't know how well that will sell. I don't know. It'll it, be interesting to see. Some of the really old stuff will probably do well. Um, have they already said who the 20 people are? Who the like, oh, what? yeah. It's on the Target website. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so it is on the website. Do you know it what is. the items are yet or just who the designers are? Nope, that the items are out there, too. Okay, um, that's cool. The only thing that I was really interested in that I would have like gotten up early for or whatever is um, from their Missoni collection. They had a blanket the first time around, and I, I would like to have that, but they aren't doing the blanket again, which is weird because I think that's one of the most popular items, but I don't know. There how do you pronounce that, that again? Was... I'm sorry. Missoni? I always pronounce that wrong. I thought it was like Massimo. No, that's another one. That's oh, Target's so they're... Okay. <laughs> store brand, but Missoni is an Italian designer. Totally different, but also you know that Massimo, that brand, is Lori Laughlin's husband. That's him. Yeah. Oh, that's him. Yes, yeah, so Target Target guy is also in the hot seat right now. Oh. Have you looked for your blanket on Allie? Um, no, because I'm not like You want the real one. That in yeah, I'm and I'm not that invested in it. I just Is it a it special would go with my whole mid century modern motif in my house, so I thought if I could snag one I would, but I'm not. Okay, <laughs> so it's is it a pattern? What does it look like? Um, it's their signature pattern is like a chevron, but not not the chevron print that was popular like five years ago. It's more like it's kind of like a very seventies color palette, like browns and yellows and blues. Yeah. I don't know. There's okay. a bunch more. But those okay. are the ones that come to mind. So also uh we did learn that the seventies are coming back and not the best of the seventies. I mean is there is there anything good out of the well, 70s? Yes. No, okay. Fashion wise well, from the seventies. <laughs> I came from the 70s. No. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from you. Uh, I tell you, I mean, I think the, what's uh, the, the bell bottomy pants? Those were all big. Those they came terrible, back. Wendy. Bell bottoms are not good. Low waisted jeans. Uh, Kangaroo okay. sneakers. No, Adidas. No. <laughs> No, kangaroo sneakers are the best thing from the 70s. Well, those could have, uh, you know what? Those were also maybe early, early 80s kangaroos. Maybe it wasn't. I, I think I Roos are hate, from the 80s. I Googled their 80s. Yeah. I just hate the early 80s. color palette. And the leisure suit, remember? I sent you. You I know, said, on its surface, the leisure suit is awful, but I mean, Mr. Brady can get it. <laughs> you know, you're showing off a little chest hair, like it's Remember, family. The six hundred dollar man used to wear the leisure suits. Yeah, like all right, you're a man of mean, leisure. I guess it could be worse. That. It could be worse, <laughs> right? But we got to ditch the platform shoes. If I see a man in platform shoes, it's like not a drag queen walking down the street. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> no, that, that's an issue. Yeah. <laughs> Wear flats, bro. Yeah. So we were also discussing that if you, we want to shop uh, now for Christmas, if we're going to l- go on Ollie, right? It's now's the time to start buying because it takes forever. Yes. This is yes. This is your official warning, folks. If you want any Chinese knockoff gifts, mm-hmm. start shopping. Right. Anything, and, and that even counts for Wish, right? I mean, anything coming from China. Anything coming from China. Uh, Also, should we make, when is that Chinese holiday where they are totally shut down? I think that that is August. No, uh, No, I don't think it's happened yet because I remember they were, people were saying, hurry up and order before Chinese holiday. 
Well, I know uh, that's that's probably Chinese New Year in February when they shut the whole country, like, legit shut oh, down. Oh, never mind. Okay, that won't affect Christmas. You're right. It's February. Um, 